What's up, fight fans and cannabis activists alike? We're back for another edition of my Marijuana Chronicles. And on this edition, we have MMA fighter and ring card girl, Kat Noy Nelson. She is a cannabis activist, a cannabis user, and she tells exactly why she is. She gets into a little bit about her her own company, Black Lab Organics, where she sells uh, dog treats. She wants to infuse them with CBD eventually because she truly believes in the powers of cannabis. And be sure to check out our good friends and our proud sponsor, O2 Vape, which is bringing you the new edition in innovative vape technology, the 510 Thread Flip Ultra. The Flip Ultra features a convenient locking mechanism so you don't have to worry about any unnecessary flipping in your pocket and or your bag. With a first of its kind digital display, the Flip Ultra has a puff counter, battery display, and you can adjust the voltage by 0.1 intervals. If you're in need of a charge, the Flip Ultra features a convenient lightning cable port as well as the micro USB port, so either or will work. Make sure you visit o2vape.com and make sure you use promo code MYMMANEWS at checkout for 20% off all your vaping needs. Being joined by XFN Ring Card Girl. She is a business owner in Black Lab Organic. She's also a cannabis user. She's an amazing person all around. I'm being joined by Kat Noy Nelson. Did I miss anything in my intro there, Kat? Uh, no, no, you got, you got <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are here to talk about cannabis, obviously, and I do know that my friend here, Kat, is a cannabis activist. So, Kat, one, how have you been doing? And two, why are you here to talk about your consumption of cannabis and why you utilize it in your regimen? Well, I'm doing well. Um, there's been a lot of things going on in the world that... Um, we've all had to face and um, I'm glad that I'm okay where I am today and um, I've overcome a lot of things but overall I'm doing good. Um, I'm here to talk about marijuana because I like I'm around a lot of different types of people and different age groups, different sexes, different colors, whatever and Everyone thinks differently about about it, but I think it's amazing, and a lot of people do, and that's what we're here to talk about. And being an athlete, I want to help inspire and motivate other athletes to use THC and CBD products. I love it. So uh, we've talked previously before, and we talked about your last fight, which you won in dominating fashion via TKO in round two. So this time, I'm curious, when you're utilizing cannabis, obviously you just lit that J, I see you. So uh, <laughs> when you utilize cannabis in training, in your regimen, uh, are you more proactive to use CBD, you know, sativa, indica? What got you started in us using it for your training? Sorry, this is really tight. Um, <laughs> well, when I first started um, fighting, well, training MMA, my body was just every day it was torn up differently and I felt I felt really bad <laughs> and um I realized well I've been smoking marijuana but now being an athlete I actually really needed it as a medicine and to heal myself and so I use THC and CBD every day so it's like a there's like a regimen there's like a a certain a certain amount I use, a certain amount I smoke. Well, not really, but I'm I'm all for CBD and THC, especially in athletes. And you were just talking before we started recording about how you were having a tough time, and then yesterday you sat in the CBD bath, and then now you feel like you're back to normal. Talk about yeah. that kind of stuff. I mean, just simple things in life, like a CBD bath bomb that a lot of your average people and you know a lot of normal people obviously not people in your surroundings but a lot of people would you know chase back their painkiller with a soda or something like that and instead of taking the natural route like yourself a cbd bath bomb to you know really for relief yeah Tell us about it. um well i think i think the medication that doctors prescribe to us and give us is First, extremely expensive. Um, second, I just feel like they they make you worse. Uh, you have to keep taking it, um, just like any other type of drug like that, to in order to maintain 
a certain feeling or pain relief. Um, but THC is just, it's natural. It's, it literally comes from the ground. So we can grow it, we can sell it and profit from it um, locally, like a lot of people do right now. Um, but yeah, just taking that CBD bath was, I didn't have to ingest something in order to feel better. And to be honest, I just feel worse when I take medicine. So um, today I was able to wake up and I still had a little pain in my legs, but it was relieved extremely. So you have no issue letting people know, as we've discussed, that you're 100%, you're good with letting people know you're into cannabis, as you've been previously saying. So considering it's still somewhat taboo, why are you so free about it? Because it's a very tough thing for people to talk about. Some people still want to keep it a secret. Some people are completely open about it, like, our, like people like you and me. And then some people that are just anti. So again, why are you so for it and in a taboo time? I don't think, I honestly don't think it's very taboo anymore. Um, only to like the baby boomers, mm. like all the older people that I know just that it's, they still have that like stigma behind it where the gateway drug and it's bad for you and that's because their parents taught them that and during their time that's what was going around but I think there are a lot more users today and we've been talking like right now and talking about it and people are seeing the benefits and hearing the benefits and even we have a lot of doctors and especially like cancer um, doctors I don't know the scientific name for them, but <laughs> they, they prescribe medical marijuana, right. um, a lot of psych psychiatrists and all that, because even psychedelics too, mm -hmm. but that's a whole other, other uh, interview. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but yeah, it's just, it's just the way to go. Like it's, it relieves everything. It eases everything. It's like the weight is off your shoulders after that first hit and I'm, I'm really disappointed that this is really tight and I'm just not gonna try to smoke it on camera because I keep embarrassing myself. <laughs> <laughs> you're fine, you're fine. So I, I do agree with you in the sense that it's, it's somewhat less taboo now than when we were growing up. But I mean, it's still a strong topic because of the athletic commissions. I mean, that there, it's still very strong in the sport of MMA that it's still People are getting accepted to it or getting accepting to it, but it's still relatively frowned upon overall. What do you think it's going to take to remove all that? Um, just, I mean, pretty much in general, like education, because a lot of like, I know some, some teammates that think it's bad for you because you're inhaling uh, the smoke and your cardio is going to, suck or whatever and I'm just like all right well have you seen my last like few fights <laughs> like and I smoke every day so so yeah it's it's really not that bad we just need to educate ourselves and and stay away from the people that think it's crazy because it's really not like scientifically factually it's beneficial mm. I, yeah, I couldn't agree more so I want to talk about the next chapter, obviously, in this story, which takes me to your modeling and your networking. So <laughs> I'm not trying to embarrass you. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. So, clearly, you're a beautiful woman. You, you do your thing. You post yourself. You put yourself out there. Where do you make time in such a busy schedule to pursue some things like that? Um, well, that's actually why I started my own business. Um, I just, I wanted time. I wanted options and choices. Uh, I wanted to do other things with my life besides work for someone else and go to their business or company and corporation every single day and work for them and be, I'm getting paid way less than what they're getting paid. <laughs> so that's why I started my own business and it's given me 
that time. It's not, it's not easy. You know, it's, it, I literally just started and I started during a pandemic. So it's kind of slow support local business guys. <laughs> of course. Um, but yeah, um, <clears throat> it's given me time to pursue some other things in my life because of, I'm young and I, I just, I feel like I've, I've been put here on, on this earth for a reason and it's starting to show through, uh, you know, as I, as I go from platform to platform and I get more popular um, in the MMA world or in uh, the, the dog world or wherever, um, I'm trying to be of positive impact and influence others to just, you know, take charge of life and be who you want to be and be happy. That's the secret. <laughs> <laughs> That's the secret. Being I don't happy. Know if I answered that question. <laughs> no, you did. You no, you 100% did. Uh, it, it, I've been actually really trying to convey that to a lot of people. Is a lot of people stress money and the consistency of this and that and the quote unquote adulting. But at the end of the day, I truly feel like as long as you're happy, nothing can make you more rich than that. And I mean, call it as corny as you want, but I've never felt better than when I'm just happy. No money, no money can replace that. So mm -hmm. either way, that's my corny talk right now. So getting back to you and Black Lab Organics and your love for dogs. So you said you wanted to make more time for yourself. Talk about that. Um, yeah, not just myself, but my family. And um, like, like we just said, like talking about or putting times and to other things and pursuing other things and my training and everything. Um, but yeah, I've had Black Lab Organics, uh, the idea behind it for a few years now, actually. And it's just been in my head. I didn't write it down or anything. I just, I just thought about it every once in a while. And um, for some reason during the pandemic, we we were stuck in the house and we were like, fuck it, let's just start a business. <laughs> and I've had this idea. So that's when I started elaborating more and writing stuff down and playing stuff out. And, um, you know, we had to go through a bunch of paperwork and, and money and uh, signing stuff and all that. But uh, finally here, we've been going for like three months now. Um, like I said, it's slow because we started during the pandemic, but we've seen the progression from then to now. So, and we have, you know, I have a lot of goals for and, and dreams for it, um, but we just have to take, take it day by day. So where, where would you rate all of your, the illustrious, uh, the hats, I should say, the illustrious hats and all the different hats that you're wearing right now, where would you rank them as far as fighter, model, business owner? One, two, and three. What's most important in your life? Man, um, dang. Well, the model is going to be the lowest. I, I honestly, like, I just have fun. Yeah. Pictures and stuff and, like, I, I, I'm just having fun. <laughs> but. Right? Uh, dang, I really like, I really dedicate a lot of time to fighting, uh, recently because of the business, mm -hmm. I've had to take a little bit of time away from it, but with the business, that's what I want to do. I want to be able to go train whenever I want and, and for how, however long I want to. So I guess I'll go with two for fighting right now. And one is an entrepreneur because mm -hmm. Um, I'm trying to find different ways to make income right now and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm being successful in it. Yeah. Um, it's just like everything else. I just gotta wake up the next day and it's a brand new day and take it over and keep, keep working towards your goals every day and eventually you're going to get there. And I was going to say too, obviously you have entrepreneur at one and model at three. And I obviously I you know yourself better than others, but I was also wondering too if three is very close to number two potentially because 
with your modeling and with all the, the access that people have to your, to your photos, which we'll talk about later, um, it's really given you more attention for your other avenues. Would you agree? Definitely, yeah. Um, just, yeah, it started with fighting. Like, right. And I think my coach, uh, Julian Williams, for allowing me to use the gym and give me his time and knowledge and everyone at Fusion. Mm. Um, but it starts with fighting. Uh, I've definitely gotten popular yeah fighting and um then yeah it's it's opened up the modeling it's opened up yeah. having this opportunity to start a business and have a fan base behind me um i know eventually you know my goal is to go pro and possibly mm -hmm. go to the ufc and um that's gonna be i cannot easily be in a movie because of that or right stunts or something i don't know like a freaking music video or whatever like whatever that gets me on tv or the spotlight like i can do it because i'm a ufc fighter or... right <laughs> open to tons of options and a girl of many hats i love it so i wanted to ask you Speaking for fighters and from your own standpoint, why would you potentially recommend uh, somebody toying with the notion of potentially trying cannabis? Why would you recommend it? And what would you say to anybody that is thinking about recommending it or thinking about trying it? Um, okay, well, the reason why I started using it, like um, not just from being an athlete before, I was an athlete. Oh, well, I've always been an athlete. But before I started fighting, um, I just had a really rough, abusive childhood. Mm -hmm. And I believe it was when I was like, I started drinking early. I, I did a bunch of other hard drugs and stuff. And I ended up um, doing psychedelics. Uh, and it's it opened up a lot of different perceptions of life and mm -hmm. it showed me that uh, the, the problems that I was having weren't like, weren't the, as bad as they, they really were mm -hmm. um, in reality. So, so that helped. And, uh, and then I started like smoking heavily <laughs> weed and marijuana. And it's just, it, it not only, helps you physically like you you don't feel the aches and the pains but also mentally um because i've had anxiety and depression problems bipolar and all that crazy stuff um with my background um and it really helps like soothe the mind <laughs> mm. it helps me collect myself yeah and uh, i feel like i can function on it and um, a lot of people, uh, that's one of their reasons why they say they can't um, smoke or they don't want to smoke is because they either get lazy or they can't do anything because they just can't process. And for me, it's, it's medicine. It's literally medicine. Like, it's my medicine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, me off. too. We're talking about it for a reason. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so, yeah. Um. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there. No, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I wanted to start taking it on a little more fun route because we've talked about your use. We've talked about your businesses. We've talked about your ventures. So I wanted to maybe talk about some of the fun aspects that you kind of get to zen, vibe out, and chill out to when you're, when you're smoking. So <laughs> we want to we have a fun little back and forth here. So what is your favorite music when you chill and vibe and smoke to? I mean, probably reggae. Yeah. Some reggae. Yeah, it could be. It could be any type. Like it could even be like Spanish reggae or something like that. But just you know the the beats and everything behind it and the vibe it gives you, super chill. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Would you? We're gonna do rapid fire. So I need you to be on point. All right. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh yeah. You need to be on point for this one. So, right. Snoop or Wiz? Snoop. Half-baked grandma's boy. What does that mean? 
Well, the, as far as movies, Half Baked the movie, Grandma's Boy the movie. Oh, I don't even, I, I don't watch a lot of movies. I'm sorry. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, fair enough. I'm sorry. All right. Bob Marley or the great Willie Nelson? Bob Marley. Brownies or gummies? Brownies. Indica sativa? Indica. CBD bath bomb or CBD rub? CBD rub. All right. I love it. So on that note, I want to transition back to between kicking people in the face and breathtaking photos mixed with your love of your labs. Why is it, is it just labs that you're so passionate about? No, um, my, I actually have two dogs. One is mm. a lab and the other one is an Italian Mastiff. Mm. Um, so my lab was my first dog and, um, he's just, he's the inspiration behind it because that's when I thought about the business mm -hmm. and black lab organics is also inspired by marijuana. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, like my treats names are like PB Nugs and Pumpkin Kush. <laughs> yeah. So definitely like dog lovers out there, go check it out. Um, uh, but no, not just for labs, like all, all types of dogs. Yeah. So I, I'm here for all dogs and dog owners. I want to influence them on how to take better care of their, of their dogs. I'm not, not saying that they don't, but you know, whoever, you know, needs the advice. I'm there and uh, with nutrition, with whatever, with grooming, with whatever, because I love dogs and I've worked with them for a really long time and I have my own. And yeah, that's that's the, pretty much the point behind Black Lab Organics. <laughs> and it's not doubting the owner's knowledge. It's just everybody can always use a little bit of help. And you're obviously experienced in the area. But one thing you've made clear is that you want to infuse CBD into the dog treats. Why do you feel that's so important? Um, well, going, going back to the, the whole owner thing too, like I used to work at an animal shelter. So, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I've just seen a lot of abandoned and abused dogs. So that's why like, I'm trying to like put this out there. But um, yeah, uh, I know that... Like for example, labs suffer with hip dysplasia um, around like, you know, anywhere between like 10 to 15 if they live that long um, and stuff like that, you know, it's, it's not fun to deal with, especially like if you're a little body, you're small <laughs> body. I mean, it's not fun to deal with, with anything, but they can't tell you that, uh, that they're feeling this pain, but you're going to see it and you're going to see it in their face and the way they walk and uh, CBD, just like it helps us, will help those types of dogs too. A lot of dogs suffer from allergies um, and it, that will help with like irritation and everything and um, anxiety and, you know, some dogs have cancer. So I just want to, I just, whatever dog needs the benefits of CBD, I want to make it an option on uh, Black Lab Organics. So where can fans keep up with you as far as Black Lab Organics? Where can they keep up with your social media? And uh, I, I just wanted to save it for the end in case there are fans out there that would like to subscribe to Cat's OnlyFans. That's available as well. Cat, let fans know about your social media. Um, well, I'm pretty active on um, Instagram with my fighting for the most part and just uh, my everyday life and keeping, keeping up with what's going on. Uh, I do have Facebook, not as active. I use that more for like communication. Um, all of my usernames are catnoy11. Um, I do have a Twitter too, but I use that to promote my OnlyFans, and same thing with Snapchat. So if you want to see some different stuff, then you can go on there. But if you don't, then you can just stick to my Instagram. Um, and then, yeah, and then I do have an OnlyFans. So it's uh, in my Instagram bio and my uh, Twitter bio. So, yeah, awesome. 
Well, Kat, is there any chance that you have any fight news to drop on us before we let you go? Oh, man. Um, can I, like, talk for a little more? Like, oh, yeah, dude. Okay. Um, well, I was supposed to fight uh, for Team USA um, September 19th, mm-hmm. but it was really kind of last minute, and the uh, I don't, I don't want to talk shit or anything, but the, there was just a lot of, like, bad communication, and uh, they were trying to put me up against someone that, uh, I don't know, my coaches thought she was probably, like, professional or whatever. But anyways, it was kind of sketchy, I guess. But, um, yeah, I just I just decided not to take it. Um, and then I was planning to fight October. But I just did a grappling tournament, a jiu-jitsu tournament. And um, I kind of want to just keep taking the grappling tournaments for the rest of the year and just practice on specific stuff right now. Mm. Like stronger and... Um, my grappling for the most part and my jujitsu and get my blue belt because I feel like I'm pretty close and uh, I'll probably fight again next year so I just need to focus on myself for a little bit because I just came from five row or five fights in a row in the last year so <laughs> take some time regroup and uh, on to kicking ass next year and kicking ass in the business world this year right Yes. Yeah, actually, um, Black Lab Organics is my business page. If you guys want to follow that too on Instagram and uh, Facebook and also um, at BLO underscore official on Twitter. All right, Kat, anything else you want to let the fans know before we let you go? Um, Yeah, uh, marijuana is good for you. (laughs) So is CBD, you know, um, but definitely try it out if uh, you're, you know, you've been having bad feelings about it. Just maybe talk to other people or or look up some research about it and uh, don't listen to like the media or whatever, especially right now. But um, Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah uh be happy like we've been talking about yeah and uh you know find find your passion and or what you're passionate about um and and go for it and if you work towards it if you commit yourself to it if you put time towards it uh you're you're gonna make it you're gonna progress everything takes time and good things take time I love it. Kat, I appreciate you being on. It's, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. You're awesome. I'm a big fan of yours. So it's great to talk about weed with you. And uh, hopefully I can keep you around for a minute after uh, we do this closing here because I would like to have a little cheers with a little smoke sesh if you oh, don't mind. Yeah. Maybe I'll <laughs> like this now. I'm sorry. Guys. <laughs> You're fine. So uh, you guys all have Kat's social media. You know how to get in contact with her. And for Kat Noy Nelson, I am Adam Christ. Thank you again for listening to another edition of My Marijuana Chronicles. And always keep it locked to MyMMANews.com for all your fight news needs.